Reservoir location and structure play an important role in crude oil economics. Some would even say the most important role. A reservoir is any porous and permeable stratum that will store crude oil. A very common reservoir rock is a porous or fractured limestone, especially of the reef bioherm type. Several such reservoir structures are found throughout the earth. Most reservoir rocks are sedimentary rocks, almost always the coarser grained of the sedimentary rocks, sand, sandstone, limestone, and dolomite. A less common reservoir is a fractured shale or even an igneous or metamorphic rock. It is only rarely that shale acts as a reservoir rock, and again, fractures and other relatively wide openings are believed to confer the required reservoir properties on an otherwise unsuitable rock. Petroleum accumulations are usually found in structural highs, an anticline, where reservoir rocks of suitable porosity and permeability are covered by a dense, relatively impermeable cap rock, such as an evaporite or shale. A reservoir rock sealed by a cap rock in the position of such a geological high, that is, the anticline, is known as a structural petroleum trap. Stratigraphic traps are also known and occur in various fields. In all cases, changes in permeability and porosity determine the location of oil and or a gas accumulation. Such accumulations may be several miles in length. Structural traps are formed by a deformation in the rock layer that contains the hydrocarbons. Anticlines, domes, and folds are common structures. Fault-related features also may be classified as structural traps if closure is present. Structural traps are the easiest to locate by surface and subsurface geological and geophysical studies. They are the most numerous among traps and have received a greater amount of attention in the search for oil than all other types of traps. On the other hand, stratigraphic traps are formed when other beds seal a reservoir bed or when the facies change, that is, change in the rock type, within the reservoir bed itself, leading to a change in permeability and stoppage of the flow of fluids. The simplest form of the structural trap is the anticline and the dome, each of which has a convex upper surface. Many oil and gas accumulations are trapped in anticlines or domes, structures that are generally more easily detected than some other types of traps. There are also examples in which the reservoir rock wedges out at its upper end as an original depositional feature due to lateral variation in deposition or abuts against an old land surface, stratigraphic trap. Traps associated with salt intrusions are of various kinds. Limestone reefs can also serve as reservoir rocks and give rise to overlying traps of anticlinal form as a result of differential compaction. Lastly, examples are also known in which the reservoir rock extends to the surface of the earth, but oil and gas are sealed in by clogging of the pores by bitumen or by natural cements. Many reservoirs display more than one of the factors contributing to the entrapment of hydrocarbons. The distinction between a structural trap and a stratigraphic trap is often difficult to define. For example, an anticlinal trap may be related to an underlying buried limestone reef. Beds of sandstone may wedge out against an anticline because of depositional variations or intermittent erosion intervals. Salt domes, formed by flow of salt at substantial depths, also have created numerous traps that are both a structural trap and a stratigraphic trap. 